All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 92 of Mog Monday, a show where we play goblins every single Monday, and we're booming it up today. Boomer action, patriarchs freaking bidding, it's goblin bidding time, folks. Now, for all of my folks who didn't play Magic 47,000 years ago, uh, <laughs> patriarchs bidding is a classic. Goblin card. Black, black, and three. Sorcery from Onslaught. Each player chooses a creature type. Return all creature cards of a type chosen this way from their graveyard to the battlefield. All right, so all your goblins die. You get them all back. You've got our war chief in play. You've got haste. You've got comes into play effects like matron and ringleader. Now we have expert, which is really cool. You can use prospector to just sacrifice all of your goblins in play and then cast the bidding with mana floating. It's super cool. Uh, super powerful card, super fun card, just a super cool card. It is just, it is just such a cool card. I don't know what to tell you, just a really freaking cool card. And uh, for the most part, our goblin deck looks pretty normal otherwise. We are playing the maximum amount of prospectors to maximize our uh, big bidding turns. We're also playing one copy of Siege Gang Commander, which plays very well with bidding. Get a bunch of goblins back, and a prospector, you can just sack three, three goblins for two damage, basically. Uh, which I guess is worse than Sling Gang. You can kill creatures and stuff too. So um, nothing much to say here. It's just mostly it's a mostly basic Goblin deck playing bidding. Uh, I did play a couple bidding in my Goblin Sacrifice -y deck, uh, which I played on a Mog Monday a while back. I'm sure I'll play that deck on Mog Monday at some point as well. But right now it's just Goblin bidding, and I'm pumped, and you should be too. Remember, folks, where Mog Monday is brought to you by. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, round one, Mog Monday on the play. Let's do this. A little, little goblin bidding. Not a great hand here, but honestly, it's fine. If you just have lands, expert, and model war marshal on the play, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Short game log here. We can keep this. I don't love it, but we can keep it. It's totally fine. Just don't ask what you have if you use code Jim100. You didn't hear it from me. All right, you didn't hear it from me. Just another Mog Monday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Goblins. Let me know what goblin decks you want to see too. There's a lot of possible goblin decks with the cards in Modern Horizons 2 and just in general. And uh, let me know what goblin decks you want to see uh, uh, out there at home. All right, we're going to play Stomping Ground Tapped here with respect to like Prowess and Burn as far as not taking damage. Um, I probably want to get a Blood Crypt off this uh, for possible future biddings. But if they're playing, you know, Suspear turn one or whatever, we can just hold back and not take damage. So, Bombardment. What is a uh, bombardment? I mean, I played a goblin sacrifice deck with two bombardments in it. Uh, Knucklebow and Witch. That deck was really, really cool. Also played two biddings in that deck. Maybe one, two biddings. I think that was part of the Mog Monday showdown against Aspiring Spike. I played with that deck, I think. Hello, opponent. It's Mog Monday. We need you to uh, play the game with us, please. Thank you. Now, of course, it's important to note that, that Patriarch's bidding is two-sided. So, uh, it will bring back their stuff, too. Uh, so, they are playing humans. So, this could be a little awkward. But So, we're going to untap here. And we're going to decide if we're going to play Expert or not. Draw another land. Um, I mean, killing the Hierarch is pretty big game. It will slow them down a lot. But it also might be important to kill their actual like good goblins. But Peach says, hey, Jim. Any thoughts when Star City might open the performance again? I have no idea. They tweeted today, hashtag soon. That was the entire tweet. Um, and everyone's like, oh, snap. It's SG Tour time. Everyone's pumped. I'm pumped. I retweeted it. But apparently they also announced in their Discord this morning that the SG Tour online will be returning. And that's not nearly as fun. Um... <laughs> It's all right, but not nearly as fun. So I'm really hoping the Zoom was not referring to that, which would be pretty uh, pretty stinky. Dahlia also pretty stinky against us. That's not really a very good one. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Because I do uh, I do want to play some Paper Magic. There's also a... This is, this is a riot. There's a secret Grand Prix in New Jersey in three weeks from uh, 
a TO that may or may not be on the level. Uh, um, some really, really random TO, uh, very unclear like who they are exactly. The the uh, the everything about it just looks pretty damn sketchy. It's like a sealed deck, and the pride structure is pretty rakey, and like they have to hit certain thresholds. They have like Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and stuff too, but they're holding it at like the Meadowlands Expo Center, which is like a pretty big, serious venue. So I, I it's just like so freaking. I, I was like was like considering going with Nicole and stuff, but like it looks so sketchy. I'm, I'm probably gonna skip it. Um, and like I feel like there could be like a hundred people there or two thousand people there, and I don't. There could be anywhere in between. I have no idea. So, yeah, Magic Legends is done for. And it always sucks, too, because, like, the game had problems for sure. But, like, just to, like, completely... Ah, oh, it sucks. Just to completely axe the entire thing. Like, couldn't they have, like, repurposed the asset and made, like, a silly single-player game and just, like, sold it for $5 on Steam or something like that? You know? Like, like it seems so crazy to me that they would work on a game for, like, three years, an entire studio, and just axe it. Just done. You know? Like, it's just wild to me. But... So obviously mage here is very awkward here with our ringleader, but we can always get a uh, another expert to kill this, and uh, we're not really in a huge rush anyway. So we come in, sure. They give all your money back. That's that's good at least. Yeah, it's pretty wild actually. Uh, so I don't want to get locked out of expert by another metally mage. So I'm not going to mage for expert. We're going to play a marshal and play a tap line as I go. Um, Play this, play land, say go. And then next turn is going to be Matron for Expert to kill Metal Image. Better lucky than good. You get the gameplay and the money back. That is super sweet. It's like getting your uh, wild cards from a banning on Arena, right? You just like play with the cards and then you get all the stuff back. I guess you don't get all your stuff back, but super sweet. Super sweet. Went golfing today, played a nice 18. Trying to get a little more, you know. Recreation time in my schedule. So I do a, I do have a shitload of work to do. Peace bone! Resub, thanks so much. Hey Jim D and fam. Thanks, Peace Bone, appreciate it. 42 months. Holy shnike, it's here, Peace Bone. Yeah, I the thing is that like when I played it, it was definitely confusing. Like, it was not very the, the tutorial was not very good. And it was not very clear it was happening. But the core mechanic of the game did seem really cool. It had a lot of promise. Um, just like someone so weird just to me to like, just like create all those assets. You know, all the voice lines, all the graphics, all of the... I love this. Um, you know, all of everything. And then just like, just throw it all in the garbage. You know, like, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Not in this deck. Not in this deck. All right. They're going to attack. All right, so we're going to block here. It's not playing Echo. Yeah, I mean, like, I understand there's a point where you got to, like, cut your losses. Like, you just, like, fold and get out of the hand and just, like, stop losing money. But, like, I feel like they could have repurposed it for something, you know? Two years, Sai. Thanks to Reset. Appreciate that. You know, just re repurpose it. You know, just, like, just do something. You know, like, I don't know. All right, so. All right, so they're still got two lands, which is very good for us, obviously. All right, another ringleader, Aiden resub one year. Thanks so much. I think the decision came from the higher ups, actually. Uh, so not from Perfect World, the uh, the dev team making the game, but like a higher up, you know, just called down. I was like, yeah, we're done with this. Uh, but still pretty wild. All right, so we're gonna matron for a an expert here. And hope they don't have a third metal image, honestly, because if they lock us out of these ringleaders, we're going to lose. And we're again also very thankful that they're just like not doing anything. So just say go. And uh, we shall see. Again, an image or a metal image would probably end the game, honestly. Yeah, it's weird to me. I don't know. How's Karn? Karn is still at training. Uh, we got to see Karn uh, a few days ago. We're going to go train with him, I think, uh, in a day or two. Um, he's doing pretty well. Um, I don't know if the Instagram video is still there. 
Thalia's lieutenant? Okay. I mean, either way, I can kill Metalian Mage, so that's not a problem. Let's see if I got any videos for you. Nope. No more Karn videos. He posts on the Instagram stories um, and stuff. All right, so they're going to do that. They're going to probably get in just Thalia. So we can trade three goblins for Thalia if we want to. Um, I think I probably do want to, actually, because I don't want to take much damage here. I'm very scared of Mantis Rider flying over and killing us. We've already used two of our experts, too. So I definitely don't want to get Mantis Rider and cheese out of the game. So we're going to block. That's an interesting, interesting theory, Aiden. Maybe. Maybe that's true. No IRL auto tapper. Yeah. Are they just playing modern? Sweet. You're playing your first paper modern games. Anything about etiquette? Have you never played IRL magic ever? That's awesome. That's true. Whatever. I'll leave that back, I guess. So it kills three and then two. Yep. Yeah. All right. So kill that. Kill that. We're about to reload, so we don't really care about that. All right, so a lot of Bloodstained Myers, a lot of Bloodstained Myers. We're actually running out of, running out of fetchable lands here. And uh, get a mountain. I probably should have gotten the Swamp, actually. I still only have one, only one, one more foothills in the deck, but whatever. Um, all right, so uh, I guess we'll Cavern as well on top, too. Ringleader. Survey says Marshall Matron. Plays. Plays. Um, oops. Who's that? Who's that? Dig Dog. New sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Welcome. You're a pile driver now. Like it or not. Just lose tabletop games. Um. Nothing really crazy. Just ask, honestly. You know, like, um, cut your opponent's deck. Let them cut your deck. And don't, I think what commonly new, player, new players do is they shuffle their deck, put it down, and draw seven. You always let your opponent cut your deck before you touch it again. If you shuffle your deck, your opponent has a chance to touch it before you can touch it again. Um, announce triggers. Don't be afraid about being, uh, about being overly talky when it comes to, like, announcing things. You know, like, you can, it's better to say more than say less. Communication is big. And then what Nicole said is totally true. Do not be afraid to call a judge. Calling a judge is not rude. It is not bad. It's not a bad thing. Calling a judge is great. Calling a judge makes sure that the game that is being played happens in a fair manner. And if you're unsure about literally anything, call a judge. Opponent does something weird, call a judge. If your opponent, something weird happens in the game, a card flips over. Your opponent's like, oh, don't worry about it. Just call a judge. Just call a judge. Say, hey, listen, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do here. You can be, be, be polite about it. Just say, hey, I'm new. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna call a judge, and make sure everything's, everything's, everything's happening is uh, is PC. Simple as that. Matthew, my same is it my saying right? Awesome, my friend. Amazon Prime, love it. All right, so we're gonna not pay Echo here because we want to use our mana more efficiently. We gotta kill this Mantis Rider. I'm, I'm scared there's more coming. So people might be salty about things, but ignore that. Exactly. If your opponent's like, don't call a judge, man. It's fine. You know, it's not a big deal. Like, don't say like, listen, I'm calling a judge. I don't know what's happening. I just want to be sure. I'm just calling a judge. End of end of story. Opponents like it, too bad. All right, so we just drew a card we might have actually tutored for anyway. Um, we're like pretty close to setting up. No, have fun. Most important things have fun, too. Don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. Just have fun. It's always a learning experience. So like, we definitely want to kill the Mantis Rider. Um... We kind of need to, like, make some forward progress here. He's just grinding forward progress, right? I'm just going to ringleader, I think, and just leave up expert. I should have maybe fetched first, but... Hierarch Warchief. Okay, that actually plays... Unfortunately, we're bottoming a bidding, which would be insane right now, but... Um, now we're going to play Hierarch. Attack for three. Hierarch's so good. Not paying Echo, I know, I know it's weird, I know. We're, we're in full grind mode this game. We are just grinding it out. We're just grinding it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, 
So champion of the parish. Hopefully not second Mantis Rider here. But I think we're like pretty good, honestly. We have like Matron for Sling Gang, just pr pretty much killed them, so. Alright, Ross is right. We're not in com we're not in complete 110% grind mode. We're in a bit of like stay alive mode here. Ah! What would you like to bounce, my my friend? You want to bounce the ringleader or the matron or the expert? A token. Oh, a token. I see. The token is gone. You've succeeded in bouncing my token. Well done. Well done. I agree. Exalted feels weird on, on, on our arc. I totally agree. All right, I'm going to kill this flyer. They have two cards left now and no canopy lands, which is important. I right, swamp. We draw bidding, too. That'd be sweet. Who wants to draw bidding? Raise your hand in chat. All right, so we're going to kill this. Um, you can't put haste on Hierarch. It's not going to work. In turn one, land Hierarch, 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 Hierarch. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a little too much. It's a little too much. All right, so Prospector. Oh, we can, do, we can do some stuff this turn. Um, we can definitely do some stuff. All right, so we can, like, Wartreef, Matron, Pashikmons. They have, like, a pretty good amount of power to us on the board. So I'm not sure Patrick Bonds can even, like, kill them. Um, just going to start on Warchief. We're going to Matron, and we'll go from there. We're at 17. We have 5, 10, 11, 12, that's only 13 goblins. If I get a Sling Gang... And then attack with everything. Will that kill them? Um, so we attack with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 goblins. And the single line tokens is 10, 11. They block 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We take 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, they're super dead, yeah. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. As long as we don't send him a sling gang. Because that would be dumb. Alright, so. Let's go! Here they come. Whatever's blocked gets sacked. Whatever doesn't block gets sacked and kills them also. They are dead. Game one goes to the good, uh, the good team. The good team. They were a little stumbly on lands there. Now, again, it is a little awkward because uh, they're playing humans, obviously. So bidding will bring back their humans as well. But I think uh, I think we're going to leave it in. Um, I'll have to bring in Tarfire and Fatal Push, I think. Um, what do I want to cut, honestly? Uh, I don't even know what to cut, honestly. Like, everything's pretty good. Cut the vials? Why? <laughs> it's like the best card in the deck, right? Um, I can see cutting, like, maybe, like, a prospector or two. Yeah, vials is very, very important. The pile drivers, like, I do like leaving in one pile driver. And they do they do have some blue creatures as well. Um, they can just sort of like block, but I can kind of buy that, honestly. Impact tremors? No, it's not a goblin, it's not synergistic. It's only good if you're winning. Cut a ringleader? I don't like that either. Um cutting CJ anything's fine. Gang's pretty slow. Um Ringleader's like how you win the game, so we're gonna be grinding still, so. Marshall Prospector. Let me shape Prospector. Bring in like Living in bidding its tribal deck? Yes, I am. I think our tribe's better than their tribes. Therefore, uh, that's what we're going to do. Your tribe, our tribe. Your tribe, our tribe. Your tribe, our tribe. Do we... Come... What, Funderwunk? <laughs> um, we are hurting our ringleaders a little bit, I guess. Bringing or removing three goblins. Right now we're at 22, 26, 7, 8, 29, 33. We're about, about half goblins. 
Um, I think I'm going to kind of push and leave him. Maybe like, I mean, CJ is specifically good with, with, uh, with Prospector. Completely crumble to chill. I mean, the card chill, like the, like the card legal and legacy. Prospector in. Yeah, this is fine. I think I like this. That would not bring in a bidding, but what's up, Breach? Your tribe, our tribe. Your life, our life. Anyone? Anyone? Obscure song? Obscure song alert? Obscure song alert? Anyone? Dun, 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 Oh, yeah, chill would be insane in, in modern. Like, chill would be, would be broken in modern. Um, like, all the prowess decks and stuff. Blythe got it. There you go. Tried by Soulfly. I wasn't a Soulfly in a long time. 16-year-old uh, Jim loves Soulfly. All right, we're going to keep this. That's fun. Pokemon ball against six. We'll take that. We'll take that. What's up, Cornball? Basic, they draw, they draw a lot of basics, but they have Vile this time, so that's not cool. They have Vile, we don't. Lame. Lame. Hierarch, that is not lame. That is a-okay. All right. So we have Push Marshall. Hierarch is so good. Like, this card is just unreal good. Do I love Soulfly? I was a Soulfly in a long time. Tribe Called Quest is better than Soulfly. I, I agree. White? White? Sathalia? Ugh. Sanctifier Invec. Pro Black Red. Enters Battlefield. Exile cards. What? Nice bidding, idiot. Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, so we'll board the biddings out, I guess. Uh, don't just escape plan, sweet. Uh, all right, so uh, we literally can't remove us from the battlefield. That's pretty cool. Um, we can, like, marshal push. So I don't want a matron, I don't think, so. For Sanctifier, Ilvec. Just saw that coming? Well, I didn't, all right? I am blind. I didn't see it. Want to go back to the primitive? Yeah, I'm blind. Anyone? All the all the two thousands new metal hits. Pump the hierarch and block it. Seems tough. Seems tough. All right. Yeah, we get it. All right. Come on. We get it. We understand. We're not, we're not playing bid in this game. It's freaking Mod Monday. We're trying to play patriarchs bidding. We probably should have boarded it out against you. All right, we're trying to have a little fun here. Trying to have a little fun. We old, yeah, I know. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to ring leader, I guess. This is pretty annoying, honestly, because it, it's funny. This is more annoying from an offensive standpoint of view uh, than a def defensive standpoint. Stand defensive, st I can't even talk. A defensive standpoint. I don't care about attacking into them. I care about them just being unblockable and unkillable and killing me. So, thanks for following Carnage. Thank you for following uh, Top. Appreciate that. First time hit that follow button, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is Mog Monday, the show where I play goblins every single Monday. Meddling Mage is the play. Meddling Mage is going to name. I ain't no expert. I'm just hurt. I'm just going to kill that right now. All right, you get out of here. And uh, no echo. Kai, resub. Thanks so much. Rang leader. Big hits. There we go. There it is. Bingo. All right. There we go. And uh, no attacks, unfortunately. But we got Sling Gang and War Chief. That's great. I only have two cards left in hand, too. No Canopy Land here. Yeah, creature with, with pro two colors is pretty annoying, honestly. All right, here we go. Manus Rider. Shoot that ish down with our man, our expert. Get our our war chief going. Reflector mage. I mean, oh, 
But you have to go again. Are you going to melee mage me? No. Lieutenant? All right, they're trying to see that's what I'm saying, or they're just going to kill us, you know? This is tw 6, 12, 8 is a three turn clock. So. Not ideal. Um, Why do I always have to restart Twitch each time I resubscribe? That I don't know. I don't know, my friend. I don't know, but I appreciate you doing it. Thanks for the extra expert effort. Extra effort award goes to. All right, so uh, we probably want to get Warchief out. They have one card in hand. Bouncing Ringleader is like pretty uh pretty gutsy. We can like Warchief Expert or Warchief Marshal. I would like to Marshal before Sling Gang gets out. So we're just gonna Warchief Expert, I think. Um. And I guess we're going to kill the Reflector Mage. They can't, like, copy it either. Which was human. I guess they can't do that yet anyway. Uh... And then next turn we can just try it, like, Marshall, Sling Gang, blah, 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 blah. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. All right, I guess we don't, we don't have, actually have a block for Reflector Mage either, but we can just like chump with the token if we have to, I guess. Vrim Grichter, what's up? He's following. Late night mogs, yes. I went golfing today during the day, so now I gotta work at night. Such a, such a tough life that I have. Tough life, kill mage main phase attack for three. I mean, if they put, like, a Mana Strider here, I'll want to kill that instead. Um, you might be right. I don't know if we're, we're kind of, like, racing. So, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, huh. Do they have a General? They have a General. We're dead. They have General. We're definitely boarding out. Pager spinning, obviously. Um, let's just start by before blocks, just like firing the expert trying to kill this. Hopefully, we don't get uh, we don't get punished big time here. Yeah, we're getting punished big time. Imperial recruiter. Uh, okay. What are they going to get? Phantasmal image? Okay. That's a very weird time to do that, but sure. Um, do we double block this? Or do we... I guess we do. Because we have to block, I think. We'll lose that on a point of life gain, but... I think we're going to do okay next turn. How goes bidding? Our opponent brought in many Sanctifier effects. No, no bidding. No bidding this match. No bidding this match. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. All right. They can't cast Image because they don't have a way to cast it, so I don't know why they got it, but... One Beardy Boy resub. Well, almost two years already. Hopefully, we can get back to Paper Events SN. But the content has been great over quarantine. So thanks, Jim, for the streams. Thank you, Beardy Boy. I appreciate it. You great. You great. Oh, that's, that was a good draw. That was a good draw, folks. We're gone. We're gone. Uh, now we're going to do two mana lieutenant, one mana marshal. Lieutenant. Marshal, marshal, marshal. And we send with the clowns. How do goblins put on their old clothes? Yeah, we, we on Igor's birthday, we buffed a boo token. It was huge. Go watch it on YouTube. We killed many, many people. Pile drivers. We killed our own. We killed our own with uh, with with booze. And Igor hung out and was very, very cranky. <laughs> that's that's the life he lives, and uh, it's great. They squeeze into them. Ah, oh, I get it. Squee joke. It's a squee joke. I get it. I get it. Alright, it's dead? Nope. 
We can gain lots of life. All right. Well, they got really lucky and drew Ancient Ziggurat, which is pretty gross, honestly. Um, that was like... There only are so many like lands that can actually cast this freaking thing. So pretty gross. Pretty gross, but... They can, like, Recruiter and they get Mantis Rider here, I guess. We can just, like, sack a bunch of goblins and kill them, probably, so. Doctors, they need a Recruiter. Thunderwonk, you're a sub again. Thanks, Doctor. How does Cranko go to bed at night? I don't know. How does Cranko go to bed at night? He gets tuck tucked in. <laughs> Skyclave? What? Skyclave? Alright, I think that's a, Did you get over here? What are you doing? Alright, that's fine. Um, so, Sack a Goblin. Choose the damn not. Let's save targets, please. Never gonna target ourselves, you know. Sack this. Make Goblin. Not a human, I agree. Opponents cheating. Oh no! <laughs> Mod War Marshal doesn't work. There's no blocks here. All right, fine. No, 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 no. Hold on. Easy there. All right. No. For love of Christ, just freaking stop doing do the things that I want you to do. I want to just think and things happen properly. So we're at seven. We're at eight. So we're currently alive. And uh, we're not going to block. They Skyclave Sling Gang. We just get another one and kill them. So I think they're dead. Here comes a Recruiter. Skyclave targets Sling Gang. So I'm going to sack... There's just no point in sacking Miss Goblin because we're going to have a Sling Gang next turn also. So uh, we'll just sack the Singlet, the Sling Gang. Yeah. So nine. Sling Gang is dope. Sling Gang is a freaking great card. Just such a good card. Who remembers the old fizzle sound from Magic Online? Like the original Magic Online? Where the sound effects were actually pretty good, honestly. I actually like like the old sound effects of Magic Online. It was like, burr, burr, whatever, sound, whatever your attack step and stuff like that. They were pretty good, like, cues to what, this is what phase it was. I like the old sound effects of Magic Online. Oh my god, they have two Sanctifiers in play. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Uh, it looked real good, but... All right, so we're going to uh, just Matron for Matron for Matron for Sling Gang. Matron. For Matron. Man, I love goblins. Goblins are the best. For Matron. Sling Gang costs two right now, so... My favorite things to do is cast all four matrons in one, in one turn. I love it. And get Sling Gang. And play Sling Gang. And... So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Coming in. Looks very similar to last game. Okay. <laughs> Blouses. Just another Mog Monday. Round two on the play. Alright, so we're gonna uh We're gonna mulligan his hand. Just no like early plays, so Aiden wants to see Shattergrang. I was one of my ten new brews. It's on YouTube, folks. Whenever you want something from me, check YouTube. There's a good chance it's already there. People are like, you should play this deck, you play, play this goblin deck. I already did. Play Popper Goblins, it's already on there. Play Commander Goblins, or it's already on there, you know? Alright, so uh yeah, rest for all birdies, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going to mulligan. Have we drawn Aether Vial yet? I don't think we have. Um, I don't think we have. This is a really awkward hand. Um, obviously, Martial Expert is great. I kind of want to keep bidding so I want to cast it, but we probably need to bottom the bidding, honestly. Um, let's keep one Expert. Point of Mulligan to six also, at least. Just nice for the nice of them, for sure. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna ship bidding. I it's, it's I know we want we want to cast bidding really bad, but like we gotta actually live. <laughs> we'll live. Yeah, I played a full 18. Full 18. Uh, I was playing one Snoop in this deck. Um, like a, Just like a fair value Snoop, basically. But I just cut it for the bidding, so. Thunderwong says, I'm convinced YouTube Jim isn't real. He doesn't laugh at my goblin jokes. Leave in the comments like Twitch Jim does. Ooh. River of Tears? Whoa. What year is it? River of freaking tears. It's obviously not when it came out because it's like the new border. It's not a future site border, but. What is this? Spire of Industry? This is some like stupid Urza deck. Graph. What? What the hell is going on? Inconceivable! Just trying to play some freaking Patriarch spinning and have some fun. What what is wrong with you people? I just want to play some Patriarch spinnings. Huh? It's my Monday. I don't know what day it is. The real important stat is how many Hey Gilmore references you made on course. It's at least three or four. At least three or four. Thanks to resub. You could have appreciate it. Somebody's closer. Because they have bottom that bidding. Yeah, right. Jeez, this is some really rude stuff here. All right, I mean, I guess I'm gonna. I bought in the biddings. I don't want to draw the bidding, I guess. So let's play some play cavern souls. And this is uh, this is embarrassing. How embarrassing! A graveyard full of goblins and no way to get them back. A three man in the pool for ensnare. Oh, this is the, the most fun opponent. The most fun. Aether Vial. Right on time. Right on time. Okay, sure. So. I'm not ready to express a 1 1 yet. I'm not ready to go that deep. Could have Urza, Planeswalkers, etc., etc. Just the best possible deck for content creation. Lantern Control. Just the best. Just the best. Uh, we're, 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 we're playing modern. We're playing legacy later. We're playing uh, a, an absurd combo deck after this, which is uh, a dungeon con dungeon combo deck in modern. They're playing this really wacky legacy deck, um, which is pretty silly. Urza Saga, Pithy, you know what? Who are these people? Yeah, all right. I get it. I understand. I understand. I get it. There's there's our buddy. Um, they have freaking two cards in hand. All right. I mean, this also facilitates us having goblins in play to kill their their constructs. So, oh, counter it! Oh, do it! Please do it! I want you to do it. What are they doing, actually? Are they, are they worrying? What are they worrying for? Okay. What would they work for in response to Sling Gang? Lantern Deck go Lantern of Insight. Okay. Then why'd you pay X is three? Opponent. Their library is a Inquisition. Ours is a Ringleader. Losing Vile is kind of annoying, but... All right. Uh, Urza Saga. Glimmer Void. I mean, obviously they have Urza on top, which is pretty lucky, but... Inquisition of Kozilek, sure. I mean, we just get to, like, kill the Urza with the Expert and Ringleader also. 
How come I let CGB beat me on the showdown? Listen, I don't let anybody win, all right? CGB got me fair and square. It was all arena. Wouldn't come play Magic Online with me, but fair and square. Yes, Thunderwonk, yes. Top card is Aether Vial. I mean, I guess we're going to shuffle it away and just, like, try and get a better ringleader, so... Fetch. Stupid freaking... You know they have Grafdigger's Cage in their deck. Should we just main deck? We're trying to freaking play some biddings, you know? All right. Um, so their hand is empty. Blah, blah, blah. They make, it, they make a construct. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh... The top card is a Goblin. I mean... They actually have nothing. I guess this Urza Saga is going to find them a uh, a Codex Shredder or whatever. But, like, I think we have enough to win the game in our hand already. As long as we can kill this Urza. They don't actually have anything. So, because the 5-5s five don't matter because so the bridge in play. We have Sling Gang to kill them through the bridge. And then, like, what, what else? They're not going to cast Urza? Wow. I guess they know we have the uh, Expert in hand, but sure. All right, top card is Dark Slick Shores for them. Now they're going to get, like, a Codex Shredder and try and control things a little bit, but, like... That is true. They didn't see Cage. I mean, they didn't see Bidding, so they don't know we're bidding... We're bidding... Uh, but... Codex Shredder, sure. Another Needle. They, they, they play more than one Needle? If they get another needle, we still have one Siege Gang to win the game with, so it's not completely over, but. Alright, let's draw another expert on top. So now we're going to, like. I mean, they're going to Thought Seize us next turn? Does that matter? I guess they can Thought Seize and Urza us, but our top card's expert, so. We're going to play a. War Chief. And we're going to play a Marshal. They thought he's the Matron, I think it's fine because I want to just have the expert anyway, so. I mean, it's not fine, but. Oh, that's funny, that actually has haste. That's hilarious. Uh, where can I put these? Freaking magic online, you know? And Codex are kind of blocked off, too. Freaking magic. I had to do my overlay over. All right, so... Uh, Ignoble Hierarch can attack. I mean, we can attack with things. They have 7-7, seven, seven, so... I'm just going to say go. Fecundity and Bard class? I don't know how those two would uh, would jive, but... So they draw Thoughtseize. But it looks like they're casting Urza. Nope, they're casting Thoughtseize. Sure. So now I have Expert to kill Urza or Matron, which I kind of prefer, but I don't think we really need it because we'll just draw goblins eventually anyway. Sure. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 points of damage in play. And they're not actually doing anything. So... Definitely paying Echo. Actually, I probably should have actually just like sacked it and not paid the Echo because paying Echo is kind of redundant and pointless. We don't really need a Goblin in play, but sure, whatever. It would be one Jacoby. Oh, sweet. So now we're going to just sack the... Uh, we're going to mill my Expert. Hold on. Let's actually save targets. Sack this Goblin. So we're not going to pay for it. Mill that. No. I mean, Hierarch's fine because, like, we literally just want to draw a goblin. As long as we're drawing spells, we're going to win the game. Um, all right, so now we're not going to kill. We could, if they, if we do an expert, I might have just killed both constructs and gotten in for two. Or three, I mean. Two. But that didn't happen, so. Play this. And just say go. 
Is it paying Echo one more one more album for Sling Gang? No, because we just sack it to Sling Gang now and get the, get the token anyway. So they're gonna mill their own talisman and draw land. <laughs> Academy ruins. Uh, nothing actually good in their graveyard. So. All right, so we're gonna kill this. They're gonna spin in response. I could have sent in all the one ones. Then yeah, you're right. You're right. I could have, I, I, I missed the point or two there. I could have attacked with like multiple one ones and sacked the ones they blocked. Uh. They can't play Urza Saga off of this. We're gonna kill this. They're gonna get another construct. Uh, top card is Saga, Exile card is Saga. This is gonna go away anyway. This card is just like pretty ludicrous. Alright, so top card draw fetch land. Honestly, this isn't a bad draw because it clears our draw for the next uh, next turn. Um, then we uh, they have zero in hand now, so yeah, we just play this and say go. Just your every content creator's favorite favorite deck to play against, of course. Oh yeah, I think we're ahead of this game for sure. Well, now, now they have a were on top. Maybe not now because they have were on top. Um, they can get they have like a. Witch Bane, whatever, stupid card. Um, they could potentially... Potentially uh, do stuff. Top card's Expert. Uh, let's draw it, probably. Prospector. So, like... They have no cards in hand. We can get in. They didn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And yeah, we got a ways to go. All right. Orb is four. Orb is four. Don't know if they play it in their main deck. Haven't seen a, a lantern deck in some time. Top cards, Academy Ruins. Okay. Right, untap. Draw for turn. Oops, I, I missed out. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, no crank on this list. Bidding is <laughs> bidding is the big plan of choice rather than cranko, and obviously have freaking cage in play, so. Were for three. All right, you got it. My vaccination side effects were extremely low, downright. All right, now they have needle for for sling gang. We just can't, we can't wait. I'm like, actually, I have, I have siege gang. Ugh. This is the worst part. You just have to keep playing. It's so freaking annoying. Like, you're not zero percent to win. You have Patrick Mons also. Sure. So you have Patrick Mons and siege gang in our deck. So they keep making 10-10s, they can't do anything. I mean, they have a, a, a Shredder and a Lantern. So we're unlikely to get the card we want, but... I don't have any Artifact Killers in my main deck now. Trash Man's in my sideboard, and so is the uh, Crater Maker. They have a Relic in deck too? God. The problem is that these can shuffle, so... Boring. Antelope. Your turn. Everyone talk to me. Oh, the ads? Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta do my overlay, folks. I'm sorry. They have a lantern and a shredder over here. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't missing much. You ain't missing much, all right? I mean, there's not really much, not much going on here. Not a very exciting game. 
Nazis, okay. People who play Lantern are a special breed. Bidding, yeah. Well, now I've seen the bidding, so... Goodbye, Patriarchs bidding. God, we draw that card. Thought season staring bridge. Favorite non-pet animal? Um, um, I don't know. Oh, hamster. You're right. I could have named hamster. Sorry, Igor. All right. I think we're basically locked out now because now they can just wear for another Codex Shredder, so... Ringleader. I mean, they got to mill that one. They have two shredders, though. We're just freaking dead. Whatever. I don't play anymore. It's just, this is not good TV. We're probably like, you know, 2% to win or 4% to win or something like that. But, all right. So, whatever. We cut, cut, the, cut the biddings. Um, we're going to bring in a Mass Vandal, a Trash Master, a Crater Maker. I don't think I want Thoughtseize because I think they go Hellbent really fast. We'll just cut the biddings and cut, like, I don't know, like an Expert, probably. Um. Yeah, this is fine. Now we have like three ways to destroy artifacts and enchantments and stuff. So, all right. So, uh, on arena, you can choose the creature type placeholder name nine three one. That does sound like a pretty good one. Ah, oh, no, no green for our hierarch. This hand would be so good if we had it. We got a mulligan here, I think. Um, our hand's just slow. We have no guaranteed third land. Can't cast our Hierarch. I want a mulligan. This is a lot better. We're going to keep this. Keep this, and we're going to ship... Uh... I'm going to ship Patrick Mons. Patrick Mons is like one of our ways to win the game later, but like I'd rather be in my deck than in my hand to be Thoughtseized or something like that, so... They have a discard spell here. It's kind of annoying. They can't have that. So there's a lantern. Sure. Hobble. Seven months we spent. Who's that? Bane bot. Resub. Thanks so much. P Diddy. Ah. You think darkness is your ally? All right, so they have they have assembled it all immediately here, but I think they're just like pretty close to dead, honestly. So, no, nah, we, if we had one, no, we we more than one man actually. There's Shredder. Yeah, we're pretty close to killing them, but not quite. Uh, so Fiddle, so we get to just like. Yeah, we have War Chief, and then we can't uh, violent for two anything. But also they have Bridge. I mean, we have we have we have Matron here too. So I think they're just like pretty. They have to have a really good turn next turn, basically. They can't have it all every time, right? <laughs> right. I miss I miss Pile Driver. It's Goblin Dex. Don't have have Engineer Plague. That would suck. They mill the land. Another vile? Jesus. Come on. So, Saga. The Wurr is on top of their deck. Where it can't hurt us. Yeah, this is basically like... If if Landing Control has a nut draw, this is it. Um, It's turn three, and they already have Lantern, Shredder, Urza Saga, and Urza in play. This is unreal. And bridge? This is a, this is actually a joke. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Like it's actually a joke, right? All right, we're dead. Like, actually a joke. All right, uh, we're gonna vial. We're gonna matron. Um, it's funny, his powder is pro blue. Um. They're actually, like, probably pretty close to dead. Um, yeah, I want to use the ability. Did I just say I want to use the ability? Because uh, he's the trash man. 
Yeah, he's the trash man. All right, so. Boom, bam, boom, bam. So this is going to be uh, two, four, six, eight. Mm, it's going to be close. Kill the bridge. Attack step. They can't block pile driver, which is eight. They're effectively at six. I think they're dead. I think they're dead. Should I cast the vial first? Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty sure there's dead though, so. They're effectively at six and they can't block everything. Oh, they can block one of these. They go to one. They go to one. Jim, friendly reminder there are days left in the season for bronze to mythic. KP up the GD work. Thanks, my friend. They weren't dead. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's only thirteen. You're not even dead, opponent. Where are you going? You had your literal best possible hand, and you still couldn't beat me. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Game three. NRG series just announced their tabletop return starting October 2021. That's soon. Jeez. What's with these no green hands? I mean, this hand would be great with Hierarch. I don't think we can keep Prospector and War Marshal and nothing else. I'm going to look it again. All right. This is fine. We keep this. Ship one of the vials. Uh, opponent also mulligans to six. No, I don't. Never mind. Oh, come on. Come on. AJ says, I want to watch this stream, but I'm late tired. Then have a nap. Have a good one, AJ. That is not a while. All right. Uh, sure. We actually want to keep our fetch lands in our hand because we want to have uh, be able to beat a lantern lock later, so... Then fire the missiles. Lantern. Top card's Prospector. Okay. Are you kidding me? Come on. Why am I going to work through this every game, huh? Just going to work through this every game. They have a discard spell on their hand, too. Or in the top of their deck. Why you like this? Huh? Why you like this? Who made you like this? Huh? All right, so they're not thoughts. They do, they, they do Inquisition too, right? Yeah, we're pretty close to no resources already. That's not good. Um, one day, got to get the intro on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on everything. You know when I'll go live. Hit the bell, et cetera, et cetera. This is stupid. This is literally just straight vodka. Just only way to survive your, your lantern matchups. Alright. Um, there's no point in paying Echo except for attacking for one. They have zero cards in hand already. And they're drawing Thoughtseize. I guess that could be worse, right? So we just play Prospector. Top card ringleaders, like... Actually, they have, they have, they have Codex, whatever. doesn't matter. Uh, so... I mean, we have we have four power, and they have nothing yet. They don't have, like, an actual anything besides they're just, like, I can't draw stuff engine. So if we are able to just put four power and play an attack a few times, you know. Mill their own thought sees, sure. Spire on top. They're going to shuffle with Lantern. That is desperation. It smells like desperation in here, folks. And I swear it's not me. I didn't shower yet for my golf game, right? Asia, what is going on? They think I actually left in bidding against their relic Graft Digger's Cage deck? Who do they think they are? All right, so we're going to mill a card here, sure. Top card is Sling Gang. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! Well, no shuffles here. 
Against Matron? I mean, I, I guess. All right, untap. Draw Sling Gang, the perfect card. Attack. Beating Lander players does feel really freaking good. I'm not going to lie. No lies here. Um, we don't actually need double black. But I don't think our life total matters, honestly. Whatever. Lieutenant. So now they are currently at 16 life, effectively at 10. So we are there on a two-turn clock. This is game three. Sack Relic, draw Ashiok, then draw Urza Saga. Karn the Great Creator. I uh, think that one's a little too late. Play Ashiok? Yeah, I, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> have fun with that. I have no graveyard. I can't search for things. I'm going to attack you with my goblins. There's a, a serious question of can you stop me, yes or no? Because if you're going to do it, it better happen this turn. Lantern players even die slow. What is it you want us to do? Anyone? Don't understand how Lantern works. I'll explain it to you. So, basically what they do is, they're a board control deck. They thought it's easy a few times, get your hand empty, and then they play this, this card, which reveals both top cards, and then whenever you have a good card on top of your deck, they just mill it. And then if they have a, good, a bad card on top, they mill that to kind of control the draws. And they're just trying to get into this sort of like prison-y game state where you, uh, where they can't, uh, is it discard spell? Sure. So yeah, they get in this kind of like prisony game state where you kind of just can't draw any 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 cards that are useful. Functionally a prison deck, yeah. It's not like a control deck, really. And uh, thank you for my folks getting my ID for reference. Appreciate that. They usually win the game. I don't know. <laughs> usually your pawn gets sad, and stops flying. Uh, Earth Saga can do it now. Can I help you? I was saying earlier, to that point, I was going to let you know I'm ordering takeout. Okay. Would you like anything? No, I'm good. What, Hi, everybody. What are you getting? Um, Chinese ending. Okay. When it gets you Chinese food you didn't want last night, now you want it tonight? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm just, yeah, sure. Well, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't get takeout every day. Spend all our money. You know what I think? What is this? Oh, do I you, fucked up. You wanna... you, I fucked up. Why do you come here and distract me? Just sack the one they. Oh, they're going to Oh, I'm not. Now I can't do it, and I lose. Get off my plane. Now he can't win. Um, Just draw another siege gang. Yeah, thanks. Or a matron. All right, get out. You're done. Okay, I'm going. You're fired. Leave. Bye, everybody. All right, so, I mean, now they have to brick. God, unbelievable. <sighs> Obviously, I do not attack with the sling gang, which been, I would have totally won the game. All right, so now they're at three. I mean, they can brutality to kill a creature. Um, they can also make a blocker and gain two life. So they can't gain two life. So they can't gain end whatever. <sighs> Don't we still win? Maybe. Like now the now the door is open for them. They can also Ursa Saga for an artifact. I'm not sure what they would get. Um, between brutality and two construct tokens, they can definitely like survive the attack here. Yeah, all right. This is all fine. I mean, they drew a brick. What can the uh, what can the saga get? There's no card anymore. They milled the card, so they have no cards in hand. They just drew a collective brutality, um, and they have no extra card in hand to to uh, to kick it. So at present, they're dead. Depending on what this what this or the saga card is, because they can uh, kill a goblin, block two goblins, take exactly three. But whatever they get off Urza Saga here will determine if they win or lose. So they cannot get explosives off it because it costs X. And you can only get things that cost 0 or 1. So 
Hopefully, they have no ways to win the game off of this one or zero amount of artifact. We win the game anyway. Because uh, so if you don't win the game this turn, we are probably not going to win the game at all. So... They have Elixir Immortality, we're, we're loose. So now, now we're dead. <sighs> now, Ursa Saga wants the exact cost of zero or one. Not the mana value, the exact cost. So now they kill, now they can, uh, what, what, well, are they punting? <gasps> oh, it doesn't matter either way. So they can drain to live also. Sure, yeah. All right, yeah, we're, now, we're, now we just can't win. This is it. That's so I only won the match, but Nicole distracted us. Uh, not that I'm blaming Nicole or anything, but uh, yeah, apparently, yeah, uh, Chinese food is more important than winning. So if I attack with everything, they go to they just and then they have, now they have Karn for bridge too. So <sighs> top cards they land. We're obviously not drawing a relevant card. Bonker, new sub, uh, watching away from, thanks so much. Yeah, but I already had dinner, though, so I don't get to have any Chinese food. Play Aether Vial. Play Cavern, name Hamster. Alright, your work. Your turn. So now I just sit back on Elixir and didn't even cast the Karn. And we're just never drawing, drawing a relevant card for the rest of the game. So it doesn't actually matter what we do. Yeah. All right. I mean. Time for Thanks for reset. Three years. Three years? Holy crap. Let's hear it, Mr. Finkles. Even though we lost this game, we have Mr. Finkles here, and that makes me happy. So. I was like, never casting Karn? Why? <laughs> That's why when you're a land control opponent, doesn't even need to, you even need, you need to use their shredders because you just don't draw any spells anyway. What's up, Scarlet? Did you a whir? I don't recall seeing a whir. Is that not even looking? All right, whatever. All right, that sucks. We should have won. We should. Have, we we, we would have won that match. Um, definitely not. Not very. Not not very great. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, that was the only NBA game I've ever been to. Bucks versus Knicks in Milwaukee after day one of a tournament, and uh, the Knicks were so bad. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was still playing. Didn't care at all. And then. It was Porzingis' first year, and I watched him literally inbound the ball directly to the Buck player, who caught it, dunked it, and then handed it back to him. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. Our, our seats were good, too. We were like front row, upper deck. It was great. It was like, like 30 bucks or something like that. All right, we can keep this. It's good. Want to play, too? Yeah, like just, just like, literally just like steals the inbound, dunks it, and just like... Like, open hand, just hands it back to him. It was great. It was great. Any thoughts on if SG's going to hold opens again? I don't know. Their tweet today got me really, really excited. But apparently, um, they're also just... Uh, they're also just... Here. Uh, it's me golfing today. There I am. Yeah, this. But apparently, they're, like, restarting the SG Tour online tomorrow and I'm really hoping that wasn't what they meant because everyone obviously thinks they mean like real tournaments and paper and they don't mean that I'm gonna be pretty freaking mad about it that's some real like real shit to throw out there you know so hopefully they mean paper tournaments I can't imagine why they wouldn't come back because like realistically who the hell else is there Watson ain't running events anymore we got freaking shady ass 
CCG whatever events happening in Jersey that no one even knows about that are shady as hell. You know, like, we need a reputable source for, for paper tournaments. Goblin Guide? Goblin Guide? What year is it? Yeah, we need a real tournament, you know? All right, so Goblin Guide. Oh, this is great. This is, this is fantastic. 100% pain-free lands and worry about Hierarch on the play. A little Mog on Mog. Goblin Guide's not a Mog, right? Goblin Guide's just a, just a punk. I like Goblin Guide, what can I say? But All right, we're going to uh, Prospector and then Expert here. I'm not playing Warchief into a Searing Blade or something like that. I don't want to just kill this uh, Goblin Guide after attacks. And they have Eidolon. I have big plays too, so. Shady? In New Jersey? Never. <laughs> Never. Only the most up and up things happen in New Jersey. Never shady in New Jersey. What are you talking about? Everything in Jersey smells good, and it is on the up and up. I like Jersey. Jersey is Atlantic City. I guess also not exactly a, a bastion of uh, of uh, cleanliness or or uh, on the up and upness, but I try and zombie sacrifice bombardment. I haven't seen any lists. I mean, I'm sure I'll play that with that at some point. I do love the I love those cards. So kill that. Galva guy drew us two cards this game. Galva guy drew us two cards this game. I gonna be a Kraken fan? Yeah. Hey, I'm from New Jersey. Just go further than one mile from the airport, cheeky smiley face. <laughs> cheeky smiley face indeed. Yeah. I yeah. Obviously Jersey's fine. Jersey's fine. It does smell a little bit after the airport, but yeah. All I all I lost spots in Jersey. And uh, yeah, the I also the the list of of uh, expansion draft players for the Kraken is pretty wild. It is pretty wild. Uh, there are a lot of good players available. They're probably going to be very very good right out of the gate. So we're going to bring here. They have, they're all one land. They're, they're just dead. They have zero chance to win this game. Um, all right, well, that wasn't a very good ring leader, but uh, all right. So yeah, just send a ring leader because there's no point in getting him for for three or three. Yeah, it's like they're gonna have a good goalie. They're gonna have like Holtby or Kakinen or Price, um, Giordano, probably their captain. Good forwards, pretty sick list. Goblin Guide. All right, let's see what this turns up here. And they reveal a Patriarch spitting. <gasps> this is gonna be the match. This is gonna be the match. We drop, we drop bidding. Oh my god. Oh my god, folks. We're going to do it. Uh, Alright, so we're going to uh, War Chief Prospector tap land, set up our bidding next turn. Might actually leave Ringleader back on defense, honestly. Block a Scalvin Guide. I mean, this is like... They're just not playing land, so they're just freaking dead, but... All right, so like they're just gonna concede next turn. Oh, I drew a land. Okay, maybe we have a chance here. All I want to do is sack my board and cast Patriarch Spitting. All I want to do. All I want to do is. So spear. Okay. Okay. Who's pumped for bidding? Raise your hand in chat. Top card is Ringleader. Okay. They will also pick Goblin. They will also return two Goblin Guides. So you're going to see a lot of Goblin bidding happening right now. It's not just us. It's them too. We can play Siege Gang. Sac They're going to kill the Prospector? Really? Wow. I mean, that's kind of a weird play. Um, I don't know why they're so anti-Prospector. But I guess it's going to work. Because now we have to bidding without that. But we could just like Siege Gang too, honestly. Is it a smart play? Like, who, no one plays Patriarch Spitting, you know? Like, what are they scared of? Um, you just kill the War Chief. I don't think it's a rec it's a rec play at all, actually. <laughs> like, you... Oh, I, okay, I'm sorry. I flipped this? Okay, you're right. My bad, then. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's fine. Without knowing about bidding, it seems totally wrong. But with bidding, you're right. In the dark, you if you're going to kill a creature, you kill War Chief, you know? Um, 
So we're at 17. Um, we So if we cast bidding right now, we get back Prospector, Expert, Ringleader, Prospector. But they also get two Goblin Guides. I don't think it's actually correct to cast bidding yet. I know that's really sad. I'm sorry, everyone, but I don't think it's right yet. We're going to wait a turn. Play Ring Leader and try and set up a little bit more. With Prospector, absolutely. With Prospector, we're playing Siege Gang, sacking for five, sacking our board, and then playing Bidding, getting it all back and winning the game on the spot. But if we cast Bidding, get back only a couple things. We kill one thing. It's, it's like fine, but I would like a bigger Bidding, a better Bidding. Um, and then we're going to like War Chief Matron. They're just freaking dead. It doesn't matter what we do, honestly. It's just like if the game's honestly like just like they just about mana screwed. It doesn't matter what we do or they do. They just can't win. Like whatever. All right, so get a. I mean, if I get Sling and they're gonna scoop. I'll just get. I'll just get Prospector. We'll play for the big bidding. All right. I'm just gonna get Prospector. And try and get a big bidding off next turn. If I if I show sling damage, scoop instantly. So hopefully they won't scoop. We can bidding. All right. Is that is that cool with everyone? Is that fine? Try my best here. Right. They hate me. The crowd hates me now. I'm losing the crowd, folks. I'm losing the crowd. Uh, cut like I didn't get Siege Gang Commander, and then uh, cut like our ringleader, Mast Vandal. You're right. I should just cast the freaking bidding. I'm sorry, everyone. I let everyone down. It's a lot of pressure being a streamer, you know. Just let everyone down. Feel really bad about it. Play one push. Yeah, I'll put another draw too. Just let everyone down. Oh boy. Just cast the bidding. Whatever, you know? Just get we we gotta I promised that I would cast bidding once this this league. And uh we you know we again they were zero we did not cast bidding once yet. Did they have Lurus in game one? They must have. I must have just missed it. All right. Hands suck fine. Uh, all right. Real, uh, Real says, makes you feel better. Learn how to, how to attack with Sling Gang. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we did that like in a previous game, you know? Like, it's possible to unsub it. I think it is actually possible to unsub in the middle of the month. So I won't stop you, you know? We're, this hand's real slow. We're in trouble here. Uh, I guess we do have like Violin Hierarch Expert the Sift Spear. They have an idol on here. We're dead though. Burn, 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 burn. Goblin Guide. Okay. Lava Spike. Okay. I mean, top card's a mountain, sure. Meyer. We're already freaking 12? God, being on the draw gets burned sucks. Uh... Any goblin decks to play guy? Like the eight whack decks do, but... I mean, just like half the expert here, so. I'm gonna kill the Sith Spear. And, I mean, hope we draw a spell, I guess. I'm not really sure even. Why not instant speed? Because they have a prowess creature. If they play spells in their turn, they're gonna get bigger. Once again, why why instant speed it? You know. Alright, so what do they reveal? 
ignoble hierarch? A third hierarch? I guess I just block. I mean, like... We should need to literally just stay alive, so... Next turn's Hierarch, Vile, Vi Hierarch. Eidolon and the Great... Okay, never mind. We're not playing any of those cards. Um... I should have respond. I were just dead. It doesn't matter what we do. I should respond to trigger, viled, and then put the tr put it up. So I don't have to cast it. Um, so I don't leave vile on one, but now I have to. Um, and now we're at freaking twelve. I have three cards in hand. Oh boy. Can't even cast bidding. We're gonna we're gonna cast bidding, all right. It's just gonna return three hierarchs and an expert, and then we're gonna lose. <laughs> oh man, it, it is the land drops. They have all spells too. This is this is tough. That tough game here. I mean, like bad hand on the draw gets burned. What's more, what's more magic than that? You know, a prospector on top. Okay. Top card is Prospector. I mean, I can't really cast any more spells. I guess, like, I can just violate it. I mean, I really doubt this is gonna. I don't know. Let's see, let's see what happens. Like, with four cards in their hand, us at 10, there's just like zero actual chance you win the game. Um, I shouldn't have cracked that. Ah, whatever. This doesn't, this doesn't matter what we do. Like, there's just no chance we can win. They're gonna end step Boar Charm, untap Bolt, 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 kill us. Like, yeah, I mean, I can guess bidding for fun, but it doesn't actually do anything. You know, like, all right, you happy? I did it. Prospector's a fine draw, actually, because we, we could have, uh, we could have viled it in, sacked it, and then guess bidding. So it's just like a free spell that puts a blocker in play and stuff. So our bidding's already like kinda kinda yucky anyway. Alright, we did it. So return everything. Kill the Eidolon. Potentially one of the worst biddings of all time. Uh but that's okay. We cast one. We did it. Did everything we're supposed to do. End step. Boros Charm you. No lightning bolt you. Even worse. Even worse. All right, yeah, whatever. Let's go to the next game. It's fine. That's fine. I mean, like, they had two lands, all spells, good hand in the play, and our, our hand was bad. It's fine. It's just, it just happens sometimes. It just happens sometimes. Bidding count one. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We're good. No problems. Not worried. This league's taking for freaking ever. Like, we're in... Match number three. It's been an hour and 40 minutes already. Christ. Where are they? All right, sure. Keep this. Shipmire. Name Goblin. Sega. I mean, Tarfire is pretty good, obviously, and the Ringleader's fine, too, so. Maybe Goblin Guy to help us, uh. What? You know, Bulls, like, what well, your freaking burn deck, man? Or lady, or person, or wherever you are. You know, Bulls, a creature. Alright, so. We're gonna reveal Ringleader here. It's the least telling card of our cards at end. Alright, so, uh. Turn one, bolt the hierarch. Crazy talk. Crazy talk. Oh, sacrifice. Like, not goblin sacrifice. Regular sacrifice. Core firewalker. I should have brought in the third push, I think. I only brought in two pushes. Firewalker's not, 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 not that good against us, honestly. It's just like an unblockable creature for the most part. I hate you. 
Uh, Poor Firewalker. Yeah. And they're going to play a Goblin Guide. Ooh, this is actually pretty nice for us. Can I have a land here? So now we get to Expert. They're not going to attack a Firewalker? What? Uh, we had a land? That's sick. And now I get to do it all. Oops. I get to kill everything. That, that, that was a, a great turn for us. I could not have gotten much better, honestly. Let's target this. And block. And tar fire. And we're at, going into our turn four at 20 points of life. What's up, bonkers? 20 points of life. There are 22, but I don't care, honestly. Sling Gang Prospector, love to see it. This is going to be a bidding game, folks. This is going to be a bidding game. We're going to win the game off bidding this game. We're going to win the game off bidding this game. I bid 25 cents. So I play rest in peace. Eidolon and the Great Rebel. That's pretty good. Pretty good combo here. Eidolon and Core Firewalker. They are they are playing very incorrectly though. This should be attacking every turn. It's their job to kill us. We will win the, win the long game eventually, you know? Alright, so... Um... We're going to play, just play Sling Gang, right? And play Prospector. Lieutenant. Play Sling, Prospector, everything. Then we, then we got to sack the, the sack the Sling Gang for mana and stuff like that. We can just do it next turn, you know? Yeah, we need, we need black mana too, so. We could probably go Prospector, Sack Ringleader. No, nah, you still can't do it then, so. In a rush, wait a turn. It's fine. We're at 17 life points, you know? We have a, a Hierarch and an Expert as well. Expert can kill the Eidolon. We'll play Bolt, targeting Sling Gang Lieutenant. Bonkers gift and subs. Uh, all right, so Eidolon, Nugia. We're gonna sack and go War Chief bidding. Just gonna sack the uh, Sling Gang. If they want to bolt my Prospector too, so be it. Whatever, you know, like. Now they want to attack. Yeah, now they want to attack. Sure. Alright, so Bloodstained Mire. So we're going to play... Oh, nope, tap better than that. Play Warchief. Yes, opponent has finally realized that they are the beatdown deck here. Play land. We're gonna sack for red. I guess all this mana is kind of worthless, but oh no, sorry. We, we, we bring winner too. We're doing it, folks. We're doing the thing. We're doing it. Bidding. It's working. 
In a relevant game magic, it's gonna provide a game action that wins us the game. Name Goblin. I want mana for my ring my ringleader. We're gonna kill the Eidolon. Ringleader reveals. They're gonna bolt the sling gang again. Okay. Um how do we feel about this? Well, now we're at 14, so our lead total is starting to matter a little bit. I'm gonna send the expert to the face. Um, and then I might tap this hierarch for mana and then send that to face two, honestly. You have a black available already. Let's do green. She might actually want more, more red mana. Yeah, sure. All right, so that fizzles. Big ring leader here, folks. Let's go. <laughs> I've had better. I've had better. Um, kill that. Play goblins. Yeah, that was pretty bad, honestly. That was pretty bad. Why am I still float? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so... There's that. And I think we just jam. Honestly. Pretty bad ring leader, honestly. That was really a bad ring leader. But sham with everything. If it was War Chief here, whatever. Like. They're stuck on two lands. And like, alright, sure, great. They go to twelve. Say so go. Yeah, not a not a great not a great ring leader. That's okay though. That's okay. I think we're still okay here, honestly. They've used a lot of bolts on creatures. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Yeah, well, sure, I guess. Alright, I mean... We draw spells. Let's draw another bidding, honestly. Spells. Echo? I don't think so. Maybe. I guess. Or oh, bidding I'm having anyway. Expert. Okay. Um, so we get in for four. That's not really worth it. All right. Now we're kind of just behind the uh, the core Firewalker eight ball a little bit. So we need to draw a matron, a ringleader, a sling gang, a bidding. Um, I brought a siege gang, right? I did. I did cut a couple, a couple ringleaders too, but. Searing Blaze, my ringleader. I mean, sure. I'd be sad if we lose this game on that ter on that terrible ring ringleader brick. All right, we're at eleven, but they're they only have two cards left. All right, big draw here. Big draw. Come on, there it is. Bingo. All right. Let's freaking go. Freaking go, buddy. Come on, make up for last time. All right, that wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Rain reset. Thanks so much. I can't stay in the rain. I can't stay in the rain. Just kidding. You're great, Rain. All right, attack. They're back at 20. They were at 10 last turn. Yeah. All right, go to 13. Uh, it's Core Firewalker versus the world right now. We can kill their next creature. We have a whole bunch of power in play. They just pay life for something? No. 
Oh, they shock. They shocked the land in. That's arrogant, don't you think? Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's like actually pretty problematic. I want to be totally honest with y'all. Uh, all right. They 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 did not recognize their role though and didn't attack again though. So I think this is actually fine now. So this is a nail biter, honestly. I think this is fine for us now. So we now we pay this. We draw. Oh, you mother. Uh, okay. Ringleader, Warchief, Prospector, Sling Gang. So we need to survive for next turn. All right, well, now we just say go. And don't die, cast bidding, win the game. All right, cool. So... Good job paying Echo there, I guess, but Suicide Goblins? Uh, nah, we'll just attack. I mean, the game's over if we guess bidding, so we'll just block, I mean. Lurus the hand. So we have Sling Gang and then a bunch of other goblins too, so they should put Lurus in their hand. All right, I am going to cast the Expert End Step, though, uh, because they'll put one more goblin in play. So now our attacks are good too. Well, I guess they have a whatever it doesn't freaking matter. All right, so bidding time. Woo! I won. Woo! We want every die roll so far, too. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Let's go. Keep. Let's go. All right. Opponent keeps seven. Oh, my God. No gemstone cavern deck has ever been fun in the history of the world. All right. What are they exiling? What's it going to be? I was so sad to find out a song had lyrics to it. Like, the lyrics are awful. Like, the, the singing and the lyrics are totally awful. Brazen Borrower? Doesn't really tell much, honestly. Like, doesn't really tell too much. It's funny because they're playing Living End and, like, we actually can't play Bay Shark Spinning, really. I'm spinning all over myself. I'm gross. Uh, Goblin. Aether Vial. Your turn. Hard disagree. Listen. Listen, you know, I'm you, you're me. Wait, what? Stomping ground. Okay. Uh, sure. I think this is the, this is the footfalls deck, honestly. All right, so, uh, Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. All right. Yeah, it's probably just the, uh, the crashing footfalls deck, but, uh, we have to get Swampy or Black Source for beating, so get that. Play Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. They have Fire Ice. They have Fire Ice. All right, sure. I mean, we were we were, we were, we were paying, paying Echo anyway, so it's fine. Basically, it was like they basically bolted my token. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be some problematic, but just turn two, just two four fours and turn two, whatever, you know, whatever. Got to play on curve too, for the most part. Skip one, cast two drop, cast three drop. Yeah, obviously. All right, so uh, might be in a bit of doo-doo here. I guess we could like make some blocks and trades, maybe and cast bidding, but if they have force negation also, like, normally Force Negation is obviously terrible against Goblins, but uh, it is uh, not terrible against us, because we are playing, of course, a Dead Gun, too. I don't know why this deck isn't, isn't, like, the best deck in the format, but, like, a lot. This deck just seems so good to me. Like, it's just, like, a very, very reasonable control deck that has 
you know, whatever, a bunch of spells that put eight power in play for three mana. Yeah, Fire Ice is awesome, I agree. Maybe not showing bidding is reasonable. I mean, I think we can win, honestly. Like, I don't think winning this game is crazy. Like, if they have Force Negation, you might lose to that. But they only have three cards in end, so they might, need, they might need a blue source also. One last two challenges. Yeah, I mean, like, Dex definitely uh, seems really good. What did I just do? Oh, I'm not attacking it. Whatever, it's fun. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to cast my thing, but sure. If we hit an expert, we can just kill one of the rhinos, so. <laughs> or, or. Bingo. Prepare for trouble and make it double. All right, while we're tapped out. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just say go. I think bidding might come into play huge this match, folks. Huge. All you folks stuck around, you know. People give up sometimes. They just give up. And uh, we don't go up here. We're blocking. Blocking and trading. They probably have a, a bowing outburst, maybe. It looks very, I look very sweaty. Uh, I mean, I like sweaty. I'm talking about it. I'm not, I'm not sweaty. I was sweaty before. I'm still like stinky from being sweaty. I haven't showered yet because I'm gross, but I had to, I had to get home and stream for you guys or you folks. Um, fire. That's gross. All right. That's kind of rude. Vala goes to three. Another matron. Uh, they have three cards in hand. Just got a job, so we back on the sub train. Interstellar sailboat, why don't you get a job? <sighs> we can bidding. You're right. We can get a, a prospector and bidding. But it will return, oh, that's actually fine. It returns Charlotte's Agent, and then returns Marshall, Ringleader, Expert, Hierarch. It's actually pretty good. It's actually a pretty good uh, pretty good bidding. Um, if they have, like, blue card and force negation, whatever. But if they have only force, they can't untap into it. Um, let's take a look, Elo. Because we, uh... We get the, we get the Matron also. No, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bidding right now. I'm gonna go for it. And then if they have a if they have a a force next turn, we have Matron for Ringleader and just kind of do that do that plan. They'll be out of cards too, so we're going for it. We're going for it, folks. We are going. Oh, they're F six too. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. At least I have chicken. Let's go. You son of a bitch. Hello, darkness, my old friend. No! God! I almost got the whole episode without doing it. Oh! God damn it. That's why you'd wait. I mean, it's not like it's not like the force is going anywhere, you know. Like, and next turn we'll just mature ring later. It's fine, you know. Like that's that's both their cards in end. Now that another borrower's gone, they can't borrow my vial. They spend footfalls, whatever. And now they have no cards left. Like we're not dying to a four four, you know. Like, and then if it resolves there, the game's ends. So it's great. You know, I'm I'm totally I'm totally happy with that, happy with that choice. Cavern souls again, sure. All right, so matron. All right, so you just say you wasted time hitting a soundboard. Get off my plane. Soundboard time is never wasted. All right, 
It's all in the name of entertainment, you know? Oh, yeah. There it is. I guess I tapped wrong. Yeah, I tapped wrong. I should have cavern souls on that. I'm an idiot. Whatever. I, I screwed up. It's fine. We're still going to win. It's not a big deal. Right, so now they're just like on footfalls, you know? Yeah, that was, that was bad. So they have one card in end. And blue, blue. They have a Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> nice card. What year is it? You will think Jace the Mind Sculptor is still playable. Uh, all right, yeah, sure. They're going to attack me and then brainstorm? Okay, sure, I guess. Nefet! What's up, Nefet? Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Everything at Nefet. Nefet's part of the uh, the VMLs crew with uh, with Nicole. Um, casting crew. Thank you, Nefet. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. Mog Monday, if you're just tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Crab. Uh, so we're playing some Mog Monday. We're playing Goblin Bidding. Uh, we're 201, but, but Nicole may have come in telling about her Chinese food, and I might have punted. So I'm blaming Nicole because that's how we do things here. And uh, so we were kind of like pseudo 3 0, but kind of 2 1. Uh, Mob Monday playing Goblin Bidding. Uh, this is going to have a stack. We're going to leave us uh, always on no. And uh, we're in pretty good shape here, I think, versus this uh, Rhino stack. We just cast Bidding and they forced it, which kind of stinks. But All right, so uh, yeah, we're going to Ring Leader here. And we're going to kill Jace. We're going to kill a Rhino. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh boy. All right, sure. So we got that. We have double expert and marshal. Wish I cast this thing last turn. That was dumb. So many cards. You, there, you, there, you, there. Finish off JC Pooh here. Could we borrow your blaming Nicole strategy for the VML? I'll contact my lawyers, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I think, I think we can share a strategy. I think that'll be, that'll be totally, totally good. Totally good. Absolutely. Alright, so um Marshall. And then we're gonna kill the, the rhino right now, because we're not gonna risk uh, them like having a fire ice or something like that, which doesn't even make sense, but whatever. It's not like we're not flush of resources, just make sure we don't die. Make sure we don't die. Alright, so boom, boom. Close game here. Eh? Concession in five, four, three, two. One. Nope. We got to keep playing. All right. Listen, you want to keep playing, I'll keep playing. All right. I'm having a great time this game. This game has been very, very fun for me. I don't care how many rhinos you got. I have experts for days. Um, so, we uh, we just like sling gang kill them. We matron for sling gang. Attack with everything. They block three things. We take, they go 11, uh, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Looks like exactly. Yeah, it's a little over exact. Cedric, freaking Phillips. Cedric, I would normally not bother you about SG tour stuff. And I was like your biggest pet peeve in the world. But that tweet today. All right, I need to know: is that a SG tour online tweet, or should I be a little more excited? All right, I love you, bud. Thanks, Cedric. Obviously, Cedric's great. Obviously, you all know Cedric is. Go follow Cedric. He streams. He's streaming more lately, too. It's pretty sweet. That tweet, though. I know. That tweet, though. Because it's, it's going to be a heartbreaker if it's just for online stuff. It makes me very, very sad. I'm very, very excited right now. I'm excited. I want to go play some paper events that aren't sketchy, sketchy, sketchy events in New Jersey. Oh, he's your sling gang. <laughs> All right. They're super dead. We'll just kill their stuff and kill them. Uh... Yeah, whatever. War Chief, just do everything. Play. Where are you, buddy? War Chief, Sling Gang. So what you what you what you want what you want? I said he's mad at me now. He's gonna yell at me next time he talks to me. The fire from Cole S. Jim. Sick of your SG tour crap. Coming in. Yeah. 
Cedric is a man who likes some goblins. All right, there we go. Game. Blouse. For those of you just turning in to Mod Monday, the show up like goblins every Monday, of course. They went this game. Their curve was turn zero gemstone caverns, turn one fire your creatures, turn two shardless double rhino, turn like three or four force my bidding. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so um, we don't really have much for them, I guess. We, uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? We get some good ringleaders, too. Get some good ringleaders. All right, so Thoughtseize is coming in. Um, bidding is an awkward one. I feel like I should shave, like, Prospector, Siege Gang... Because they're like kind of a control deck and like kind of a goblin deck. I think Boomer Goblins is definitely better against combo. I think that the combo goblins deck is like, it's very weak to a lot of interaction. And Modern's gotten really, really interactive. So like, it just, I don't even think you want to bother playing the combo goblin deck. No, nah, we're not winning the game by pushing the rhinos. I don't think at all. So, what's up, Mandy? Yes, we're, we're bringing it back old school today on Mog Monday. Again, episode 92 of Mog Monday. The show where I play goblins every single Monday, episode 92 today. Usually during the day, but uh, I'm, I'm golfing today. So, all right. And then, uh, it's funny. I don't think bidding is actually like that good against them. It's like kind of good, but uh, Sling Gang. I mean, Patrick Mon's not very good. And I do want the Pile Driver. I guess Expert is like kind of necessary. So, kind of Prospector. Let's try this. Let's try this. Thanks for following Thought Mage. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. I was playing one super value in my, in my Boomer Goblin deck, but uh, I cut the snoop for, for the biddings in this deck. So, this hand's not great. Um, this hand's not great. I'm not going to lie to you all and tell you it's great. Uh, but I think we're going to keep. This is like a keep and lose kind of hand. It's a keep and lose kind of hand. We just have like Vile, we have Cavern. Pile driver's not looking particularly great here, but September 13th is going to be the 100th episode. Ooh. But what should we do for the 100th? 100th, 100th what should we do for the 100th? The 100th I can't talk, Jim! What are you doing? Waka, waka. Use your mouth! What are we going to do for the 100th episode? I talk for a living. This is what I do. This is literally what I do. Here I am. Goblin cosplay. That's a tough one. So for the one year anniversary of Mog Monday, which is episode 50, 53, I played, I did a 12 hour goblin stream and I played a bunch of different goblin decks. I played goblin battle wits. That's going to be a tradition for the year, but maybe like after the first year, you just do like the hundred episodes. I don't know. What's more important, the two year anniversary or the hundredth episode? You talk to me, let me know. Play D&D as a goblin. I do plan on doing a D&D Mog Monday uh, at some point, like a one-shot thing. I have some D&D folks in my, as my moderators, and I don't play D&D personally, but it's kind of fun. So after the first year, does like does like this two-year anniversary of Mog Monday matter anymore at all? Pyre of Heroes. I think that adds so many parts, Adam. I think now you're like now you have these like biddings that aren't goblins and are kind of finicky, and these pyres that aren't goblins and are kind of finicky. You know, hundred episode. Okay. Okay, so maybe we'll slide to do a... But then it's like, do I do the 150 episode then? Or like... Because it's obviously so close to, to two years for 100 episode, but... All right, so land go. Uh, I don't want to cast Pile Driver here, really, because uh, it's just going to die to a fire. All right, that plays. Sure, we'll do that. All right, so Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. It's actually a pretty good draw. And again, they have fire here. It just trades with, with one goblin token, so... YouTube folks, let me know also. What's more important for uh, an episodal show once a week? Is it more important for the 100th episode, the two-year anniversary, things like that? I want to know. Battlecry Goblin? Um, I think it's a little costly for the older formats, but it is a fun card. All right, so they have a, they have a, a Violent Outburst here. So... That's okay. We can kill it. We can kill one of the rhinos immediately. So no echo. I swear I'm not being held against my will. 
right, so ship that. Pay no. No, echo. Both should be celebrated, but like they're so close to each other. It's like we'll do the one year anniversary and the hundredth episode, or I'm sorry, right before it, whatever, you know. That wasn't bad. Um, that wasn't bad. Uh, we're not gonna attack because we're attacking into the rhinos, so we'll just say go. They're pretty far, they're pretty close together, you know, like. They're gonna petty theft my vial? What a freaking jerk. Alright. Put in pile driver. It's honestly not like that bad, I guess, but. Do you celebrate Christmas and Easter? I mean, those are like eight months apart, right? Six months apart, right? Like. The issue is that they're so close together. What is this? Is it like a fire spout or something like that? I mean, if it is like a fire spout, like, we've only lost two cards to it. Yeah, so this isn't, this isn't bad at all. Like, that was a two for one, but whatever, you know? Like, who cares? Like, now you decide to play Vile or play Ringleader here, and I think it's just Ringleader. Um, did I buy on a card this game? I don't think so. I don't want this for double black too. Yeah, I'll just play the cavern. So goblin. So obviously like losing vial kind of sucks, but whatever. Just do it. Reload. Reload. Alright. Potato says, I watched a full ad to get here. Thank me thank you for your service. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad you're here. All right, terrible ringleader here. Vile bidding land. Ugh, gross. Gross. But we send. We send. Basic mountain. Okay. Do 100th this year, third anniversary. It's interesting. It's interesting. All right, it's so untap. Uh, we are not going to jam into a uh, Rhinos here. We're going to play a Warchief. Which might just die, but whatever. We're going to play an Aether Vial. And then we're going to play a Fetchland. And then we're going to say go. And just keep the grind. Keep the grind. I was gonna play just a creature spell put on top or bottom of its owner's library. I don't think I actually want Warchief, honestly. Like, I guess I'll put it on top and probably shuffle it away. Uh, so this is fine. So hard cast subtlety. Can go on uh, get top, play vile, play foothills. We're probably going to crack the foothills and just get rid of the Warchief. I don't think Warchief is particularly great right now. Um, they have a blocker in play, potential potential rhinos. I want engines, not a. Uh, I want engines, not a, uh, just like random goblin chariots because our hand's kind of empty right now. So only three cards in hand. I mean, looks like their hand's pretty weak, honestly. And the point of topping there was to give us the option if he wanted to keep it for some reason. Alright, so uh vial goes up. That's not a big spell. That's not a big spell at all. Uh alright. I mean Play Foothills, there you go. A little flooded here. Um didn't really help us out with the little ring later action. They play borrower here. I might expert down the borrower and expert down the salty. Then we're kind of all in, but like they haven't found a cascade spell yet, so yeah. I don't love this, I'm not gonna lie, but I think cleaning up flyers is kind of important, so they could have dead gone here to screw us up, I'm not gonna lie, but And now we're drawing to Matron, Ringleader, a whole bunch of stuff. 
Don't you do it. I swear, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, thank God. All right. And we say go. We're playing some modern. Kill a snipe. Playing some modern. Goblin bidding. We're two and one, but our one loss was essentially a misclick. Uh, my wife distracted me, and I would have won the game that turn. So, one red in the pool. One red out of the pool. Scaldy Darn in the graveyard. Basic Island? Blame the wife. Ah, uh, that sucks. All right. Well, uh, we got some work to do, folks. We got some work to do. So, let's look at the cards they exiled, I suppose. Anything... What? What? Look at these cards. They still have Force Negation in. They also have Bone Crusher Giant, also. Uh, Alright. I mean, sure. Now I have some work to do, for sure. They have two cards left. Ringleader or Matron? Or Ignoble Hierarch? Sure. Why not? And, uh, Alright. You're up. Things were grinding, but we're currently out of gas. Uh, Ringleader kind of let us down, and uh, now we're on a bit of a clock, too. We can go for the trips block, but that's pretty risky. Uh, they have a lot of cards in hand still. We're probably in trouble this game. Probably in trouble this game. Here they come. We're going to block the 2-2. The um... This does make future double blocks worse, but if we don't draw a spell in the next turn or two, it's not going to matter anyway. And, like, I think that going for the quad or triple block now is a really bad idea. So, we need help here, folks. We need, we have a big draw step. We need the help. Mage Ring Leader. Mage Ring Leader. Show me Mage Ring Leader. <laughs> probably it it's probably it chump with ignoble they have trample thought mage says hello i'm new here and new to modern i came to get a feel of the format nice to meet y'all what's up thought mage how's it going my friend let's hear it for thought mage it's always great getting new players in the modern it's a great format we we're playing a, a goblin deck based around the card patriarch spitting let's go hierarch's freaking great Oh my god. Why are they tapping five mana? Oh my god. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Right. You're still playing things? I fire too. All right, whatever. They had it all. Who cares? We're drawing land anyway. All right, that's fine. Whatever. They got us that game. They got us that game. Um, Fury A. Fury A. I'm kind of mad they still have force negation, honestly. Like, bidding's pretty good, you know? Um, and like force negation, if it's in their hand, is not going anywhere. Like it's just gonna sit there until it gets on counters, counters a bidding. We have four thoughtsies though. Do I want the third bidding? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Yeah, this the bidding, the bidding part of the deck thought mage is not not stock. It's not that's not a very common adaptation. Um, usually we're playing more more uh, regular goblin decks. It's Mog Monday, so we always mess around and try different things. Uh, so that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. You can keep this. We cast betting in game one, and they forced it. Gemstone guy run again? God, what an animal. All right. Um, and they were exile a subtlety. Sure. Goblin. Green. Green goblin. Yeah, it's been it's been insanely long league. Like I have two more leagues to play. It's already nine thirty almost. Like I might not play, might not play both leagues tonight. We'll see. I don't know. Legacy League should go pretty fast, I would assume. You're going to fire me here? You're going to fire me? 
You can't fire me cuz I quit. Oh my god, they have two cascaders too? Could this damn be any better than against goblins? This is Stone Cold Nuts, right? Just like turn zero caverns, turn one fire, turn two ca double cascader, anger the gods. That's unreal. All right, I think we're dead, folks. I think we're dead. Probably couldn't be any better. Uh, Jeez. We're at 15 already, too? Oh, my God. All right. Uh, goblin. The problem is they have Anger the Gods, too. So, like, it's not like we can, like, even build a board or do anything useful here. Yeah, I, we're just dead. I don't think we have an out here. Like, we just can't beat this. It's just too fast. And it's... If they didn't have Anger... You know what? I might have punted. Nah, because we can't beat eight. We can't beat four Rhinos, either. But because of the Anger, we just can't actually do anything. Um... Like, I don't even know what we're drawing to. We could, like, matron for, like, War Marshal and, like, try and set up an expert or two. I play War Chief. It just sucks. Um, so he's, like, matron for... Probably Marshal, I guess. Make sure Marshall draw land. Just draw Terminus. Yeah. Yeah. How do you have Gemstone Caverns two times in a match, you know? We I mean, crushed him game one, too. Pay money, Rubby says. Jim, give me a random legendary creature to build a commander deck around. Um, slow bad goblin tinkerer. Slow bad goblin tinkerer. All right, so outburst is gone. They revealed these two cards. They still have anger though. Land. We need to draw a land. A fine choice. A fine choice. We're freaking at six already. All right, we're just dead. Whatever. Like. I don't know if we can ever beat that hand in a million years. They got us. They got us. So now we're two and two. Pretty much three and one, but. Yeah, we'll just get this going, whatever. We'll do ads later. All right, so uh, match number five. On the draw, opponent keeps, or Mulligan's a six. We're going to keep is pretty a hand. Bonkers. No worries, my friend. No worries. Scarlet, you just got up. All right, don't act like you're doing me a big favor. You just woke up. You're just awake. Ross playing Rocker Stack of local FNMs. That's fun. All right, so that was a good draw. That was a really good draw. Named Goblin. It's not quite Cavern of Souls, but. Sack Misty in response. Breeding Pool. Tapped. So they're not playing any Triumphs in my deck. It's a thing to think you know. Oh man, Living End. Ugh. I mean, I guess like Skirk Prospector is really good against Living End. There's always that, I suppose. Grief. Good grief. Uh, but obviously, unfortunately, right, we, we, we got to board out bidding because we can't, we can't have uh, Patriarchs bidding in our deck against the Living End deck. So that one's got to go, I suppose, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, folks. They're going to bin the Mog War Marshal, the only castable I have. What else are they going to do here? Let's take it Blood Crypt. Now, I could sacrifice Pros... Yeah, that's stupid, though. He's going to Prospector in place. So, all right. Let's play this and say go. Attack for one. Was Grief a trap? Yeah, I think this card's pretty, pretty medium. I, I think this card is doing exactly what I expected it to do. It's being... Very mildly playable in fringe scenarios. Like, the ephemeral grief deck is terrible. Like, like I said, it was. It's Avalanche, sure. And then, like, this is a pretty corner case scenario of, like, just wanting this weird evoke card that costs four in your deck. So. I'm taking the W on that one. I'm taking the W on grief. 
at some point, if Wizards of the Coast ever stops releasing sets every every week, I'm gonna do like a retrospective where I go over uh, all my like predictions over like the last year and like pick out which ones are wrong, which ones are right. Like for example, Slither Slither was probably not the best card in that core. Uh, just just looking back on that one, just, you know, I might have missed the one on that ball, that one by like ninety thousand miles. Uh, neither was uh, C Dash or Octopus, but you know, I got a lot of hits though. I Iteration, that was me. Day one, in my set review, before the set even came out, I called Iteration the best multicolor card in the set. You know? Trump reviews his reviews. Trump HS, not, yeah. I feel, like, I feel bad for Trump's Trump HS. You know? Unfortunate name choice this day and age. Uh, Waker of Waves goes in the bin. Sure. So maybe if they cast Living End here, and a hollow one? Alrighty then. Uh... Voidwalker? I would say I was, I was correct about Voidwalker. Like, it's a fringe playable card. Some decks. Well. Eddie, thanks for resub. It's not like a an end-all, be-all. This card needs to be banned to format defining threat. It's just a reasonable card in a couple decks. You know? Uh, okay. Sling Gang is pretty cool. Um, we can actually do Warchief and Sling Gang. The problem is if they have Living End here, it's really, really awkward. But... We'll get stuff back anyway, so I think we're just going to go for it. How about a glimpse? Great. That card was did, did a lot more than expected, right? Lieutenant. Yeah, this actually feels like a pretty good matchup for us. We're pretty good at attacking our entire board, you know? We got to board out our, uh, our biddings, but... I screwed up. I should have sacked him. I should, I should, I should just killed him. I mean, now they're going to living end? So I could, I could have cast Patrick Mons also. Um, I think they're just dead, though. So they living end. We're in combat. Yeah, so we uh, save targets. You sack our board. No. So we can we, we put Patrick Bonds post board. Yeah, they're freaking dead. So, game blouses. I didn't hit the wrong button. I, that was you. That was you hit the wrong button. Biddings are out. Uh, sorry, everyone. I know. Sorry, but they gotta go. Nile spell bombs are in. I don't even want thoughts these against them, honestly. Cut siege gang. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Like, I think Expert is okay. Uh, our sack outlets are great. Um, again, Thoughtsea is like, their deck's so redundant, they'll just draw more pieces anyway. And I don't want to remove more spells from my deck too, so this is sweet. This is sweet. Oh, that's not sweet. That's not sweet. All right, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, keep. Um, we are on the draw. I think I'm okay binning a land here. I think that we are on the draw of the vial. I guess they could have like uh, the artifact removal spells and stuff like that, but they gotta kill my vial and my spell bomb. And I want gas. We're gonna keep this. Alrighty, let's go. Ideally, the last game of the league. Sling Gang Lieutenant. Aether Vile. Doom! Tell us about the time you face Doom. 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 Doom Wake! Thanks so much. Cheer for Doom Wake. Big Raid! Man, streaming later in the day is freaking awesome because everyone raids you. Well, I sh normally, I stream and I start in the morning and like everyone's just getting up, you know? That's great. Thanks to Ray Doom, I appreciate it. If you're sitting in the stream, my name's Jim Davis. This is Mog Monday. Don't watch the whole thing, you gotta watch the episode. But uh, Mog Monday will show up by Goblins every single Monday. We're playing Patriarch's Bidding Goblin. I have bad news, though. And uh, the bad news is that I, I had to board out the biddings because they're playing Living End. I know. I'm sorry. But we have cast multiple good biddings in this tournament, or in this league so far. We're 2-2. Two and two. But one loss was my wife came in and distracted me, and I, I had the win on board and just misclicked. So it's all her fault. Should be three and one. Should be three and one. 
100% her fault. She had the mouse. She, she pushed me out of the way, hit the wrong button. 100% her fault. Let's go. Up, up, up the vial goes. Any torments in the near future? There's a hidden GP in Jersey that I would not recommend going to because it looks really, really sketchy. Thought Mage says, gotta be the best stream set I've ever seen. Laugh tracks and stuff are priceless. Let's hear it for freaking Thought Mage. Woo! Thought Mage, fantastic. Fantastic. I'm not just ripping right now because my opponent is waiting uh, for my Aether Volatile to resolve, but you're great. Thanks so much. Let's hear it. Chinese food was worth it. So apparently my, my match laws was worth Chinese food, so that's okay. That's okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Opponent, are we going to do something here, or we should have to start doing more gags? Huh? More gags? My opponent! Where are we? My opponent! Where are we? Aether Vial on the stack. Are they going to, like, trick bind me? Something? More bad jokes? Eh. Oh. That was the wrong button. The biggest Xander says, Hey Jim Davis, gonna have some lasagna tonight, help you get through Monday. Get off my plane. My Monday intro. While we're waiting, I'll go over this GP thing. Uh, so there's this tournament happening. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. I golf today. Look at me. I'm golfing. I'm a I'm a golfing boy. Oh, look, it's Igor. Aww. So, uh, C C G U T C G Fest. Now, now they're back, obviously. Uh, it's like a big T C G thing. It looks super sketch. It just looks super super sketch. All right, Vile's going up. Cornballs gifted a sub to you. Thought Major on the Discord. You're our you're our, our viewer of the day. I played okay. I, I'm 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 pretty rusty at golf. I'm not gonna lie. Here's the spell bomb. Set a course record. Uh, for hitting hitting for hitting trees, maybe. I mean, I played alright. I shot like a 103, which is not I'm not, I would not consider that good for me. I should play. I think I'm capable of playing bogey golf at my current skill level. Um, and I did not play bogey golf. <laughs> I don't really have practice. I used to play golf when I was younger a lot. I was I was pretty good when I was a kid. When I was in my like, teenage years and stuff, I played a lot. I had like lessons all the time and stuff. But I'm in the last like decade, I probably played like maybe 50, 50 times, something like that. You know, so can't verify it. It's true. I could lie. I'll try lying. That's a good trick. So they're gonna. Oh my god! Are they juking me? Or are they just going for? I guess they're just like using Charlotte's agent to kill Miles Spellbomb. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't want them to have a 4-4. Four -four. And I think that our hand's bad enough with a 4-4 four -four could do some serious damage. And I have a sack out in my hand also that we could even cast next turn in theory. So I'm just going to pop this. I think this is fine. This isn't great, but... Just like one man at a cantrip kill a 4-4. Four -four. Pay a black. Draw a card. Land is good. It's not living end. Put in Hierarch. And now we have like Ringleader or Warchief. We like might want to sling gang, just like get it in play. Play on the next thing. They obviously have it in the oh nope, 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 never mind. Oh, We'll just do that. We'll just do that. Punt's so mad right now. They are so mad. Do we cast a war chief here too? So we obviously can just like crack this. We don't need to draw a card. Yeah, I'm just cast war chief too. Actually, set up for next turn. Love it. Love it. Whatever. Sure. Honestly, this is fine. Let's put it on top. I don't freaking care. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Top. Because now we have Ringleader and Vial, too, so. Oh, no. Don't attack for two. Anything but the attack for two opponent. Oh, man. This is a great freaking matchup. All right, so uh, pump it up. Jam, pump it up. And uh, Warchief. We need to watch out for uh, for Living End as like a as a wrath, obviously. But I think to play around that, we're going to just cast a Sling Gang here. So 
And if this resolves, then we can just counter, we can just hard counter living end. So they could like have living ended right there in response. That's not even good though. So that's pretty good. Um, there's no like flashy creatures they can have, right? This costs four. Yeah, let's send it in. Send in the clowns. Uh oh, uh oh, brazen bar? No, green, red, outburst. So. I guess this is pretty funny, right? So now they're gonna they're gonna put living end of a stack. No, once they cast it, then they have to cast it. So it's not like they can like decide to living end or not. So we just sack our board and freaking this is a, this is fun. I like this. This is a fun matchup. Our poor opponent here trying to buy some living end. No, we don't sacrifice that. Sacrifice this. And do I want to uh, to bomb them or no? It's one three three flyer. I don't think so. This is fine. So you get back War Chief Sling Gang Hierarch. And we have to buy one or ringleader next turn. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Kills their uh, their shardless too. Oh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, all right. Well, now we're going to spell on them, so that's fine. They have... Uh, so it's going to kill... So we're going to end up with, like, both players having nothing, and we have Aether Vial plus Ringleader, which is freaking great, so... And the card we draw here, too. And they also only have one Living End left in their entire deck, so that's a bonus, too. It's a bonus, Yeah, opponents really like really going nuts here. They're they're putting they're putting all their chip, all their chips on the table. This is in my attack step. I can play a land too. So those are gone. I'm actually gonna get back a noble. I actually got. I'm sorry, not an empty board. We get back our noble hierarch too. So that's pretty cool. So they have one creature in the bin to R zero. They have three cards in hand. They're gonna kill my vial here. No waker of waves. Sure. We're twenty one. We're about to draw a whole bunch of new cards. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not to, uh, what is this? One green? One blue. No. Yeah. So now their next living end would be pretty good. But if we hit a matron or a, uh, prospector here off our ringleader, we're in phenomenal shape. Put the last living end in the yard? No, there's there's three living ends, typically. What if foothills? Um I bought any cards. One's in exile. Oh you're right. You're right. They don't play four living ends, right? They always play three. Wow. Good catch, chat. Good catch. Um I wanna fetch first. I don't think I do. Whatever, just freaking just do it. They could have four, but it's true. Most play three. I don't think every single one play the plays four, but good catch. Good catch. Activate Aether Vial. Activate Aether Vial. Let's talk, chat. Let's talk to me. What do you all, uh, Cesarcon, resub, thanks so much. Hey, Jim, thanks for the GD times. Aww. You great. Yup, nope, we're back. Never mind. Back in the game. Back in the game. Uh, yes, I want to use the ability. Putting God Ringleader. Here we go, buddy. No drum roll, I just trust you. I just trust you, implicitly. It's Mog Monday. Concedes to the trigger. Game. Blouses. So again, with one of our losses being a, a guaranteed win, we had lethal on board and just like misclicked the wrong the wrong attackers. Um, should have been a four one. Should have been a four one, and we lost to. Uh, what we lose to? I don't remember. It's round one. It was so long ago, I just forgot. 
I just forgot. Now I'll never know. Didn't even resolve the trigger. A oh, rhino. We also the rhino deck. They, they, they did you pretty well. Um, didn't even get to see a trigger. It might have been four lands. You know, I game wasn't. A, I guess the game was over. Maybe they didn't realize that they only had three living ends, and they kind of like realized it. Like oopsie. But yeah, super fun. I mean, you can see how fun this card is. Obviously, it's a very very powerful effect. Um, super super cool. That's the wrong deck. What am I doing here? What am I doing, Jim? Not that one. There's so many Mog Mondays to keep track of. Not that one either. There it is. Um, very, very powerful effect. Very, very powerful effect. So super fun. Mog Monday episode 92 comes to a close, but the stream's gonna keep going on here. I got more magic to play. All right, so all you, all you stream folks, don't you go nowhere. Sit your asses down and get some popcorn, all right? Because we're going, we're going. But you two folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what decks you wanna see on Mog Monday in the comments, all right? You're all great. Thanks so much.